Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Got up here. I did my best to antagonize my antagonizers. I did a good job because they're sending energy right now. So I'd like to do a little read. I decided to get up and see what the results of this will be. You know, in a world where um, some of the um, minds are chipped or influenced in a way to kind of limit um, free expression, sometimes I like to go all haywire and just let it loose, you know, in the land of um, awareness. You know, and, and at one point it was like, it was solitary confinement, right? You're in your body and you're all by yourself and it feels like you're all alone in the world. Like there's nobody connected and nobody listening ever. <clears throat> and perhaps you've lived your life with these kinds of blockages and you wonder like, where's the family? And now that you're there, it's like, um, now you get a little reckless and you're a little pissed. And it's like, why hasn't this been? And of course you don't have any manners because you haven't ever had the experience of this world. And so you may express yourself as though you're still in solitary confinement and it is simply isn't so. But what's funny, what's funny about it all is that the ones who probably placed you in solitary confinement are now having to listen to you as the blockages are removed and you have freedom to express yourself in your own mind. But now you're able to be heard um, because the vibration has lifted so that you are able to your your carry your thought carries further than it once did perhaps and so those who place those limitations on you are now having to listen to you and they're mad that you are aware and that you know you may even get a rise So let's see, um, how is this um, now that those who were in a solitary confinement, in a secluded state of suffering, um, and now that the planetary vibration has lifted, as well as the vibration within the bodies and within the temples of the people, and their um, psychic and telepathic uh, communication skills are coming online, and now their own personal thoughts and ideas, this freedom of expression that is not bound anymore. <clears throat> and you are able to express your thoughts, your ideas, your opinions, your feelings, your emotions about everything. And you're able to speak freely about anything that you want. And of course, some people are really pissed off about that. So how is this all working out for everybody regarding the freedom of expression, the freedom to be all that you want to be without any freaking brutality what's what's happening between the brutalizing force that wishes to keep you limited and um in, and your free expression uh to ex to be um large now rather than confined how's this all working out for everybody i'd like to see where we're at with that so we got the five of pentacles reversed we have um, a recovery, a relief of positive change, which could be why there is so much agitation going on right now. I really feel that there is some positive change going on, which may not be so beneficial for those who have been um, in a controlling uh, position in the previous cycle. In the challenge position here, We've got the star. <laughs> Bling! See, you're shining brightly. You're seen by people. You're heard by people. You're felt by people. Your presence, your energy is felt. It's big and it, and it, it affects everything. So there's a positive change. You're rejuvenating. Your energy is increased. So is the power of your mind. In the subconscious, T 
tower. A disaster, sudden upheaval. In the upper, there it says recovery, relief, positive change, which causes a tower for somebody else. And that could be why in the psychic land it is um, a little agitated right now. I thought it was just me, you know, being agitating and calling out names and being raw because that's sometimes what I do. And I forget that I'm no longer in solitary confinement. So if you are one of those who hear me when I go off like that, my apologies. In the recent past. Ooh, in the recent past. Look at this. You've got your you've got your inheritance. Yeah, people are pissed. Okay, you've got your inheritance and your ace of cups. And somebody's in a tower and they're really upset. And so what, what I'm picking up on in the atmosphere is, okay, the mother is the creator. The life is created in the womb and she has this beautiful star quality, the divine mother within all of you, okay? And right now you're having a positive change for um, the feminine, uh, um, the divine mother in everyone is actually being lifted and raised right now. And because um, the essence of the divine mother in you is being lifted and raised and freed, um, those who controlled that essence in the previous cycle are in a tower. Things are falling apart. In the recent past, you've got your Ten of Pentacles here. You've come into your inheritance, your uh, what you're earned, what you have earned through persevering through all of your challenges here. And you've got a new love. And this is the turn of the wheel. And they're mad and they um, don't want you boogieing off and giving your love to anybody else they want to ensnare you in a um in a state of chaos they want to snare you in in a trap see the thing is <clears throat> these ones need relationship you've got a queen of pentacles here so you've got a protectress somebody's grounded and generous business oriented in the near future. Page of Pentacles. Got a new job. Making plans. Potential. The lens is being looked through. Page of Swords. Energetic talkative that's how i felt just recently i talk and talk and talk in the environment in the environment you have a nostalgia a looking back so a looking back into perhaps the history of things <clears throat> is the emperor is the authority so he's there's nostalgia here there's um history the the emperor is here as a father figure and authority checking out the deceit the cheating the scamming hopes and fears five of wands competition it's strange to me that people would call this competition at all when it's when it's simple ag aggression. That's all it is. It's not competition at all. It's aggression. And in the outcome here, in the outcome here, you've got a celebration. Three of Cups. And you've got this um, person here in a four of pentacles, greedy, possessive, hoarding. They want to control 
the foundation, but they're disappointed and they failed. They have to walk away. So, <clears throat> well, let's check out the bottom of the deck real quick. Yeah, because you got your Ten of Cups here. And they, they're feeling trapped in fear. See, so you've got a lot of antagonizers in the um, energetic and mental body right now. You may have fed into it like I just did. Because, um, uh, you know, when you pick up on it, this is the subliminal stuff. See, and, I, and I even picked up on it. There were like, it's like... Um, an under layer it's almost like it's it's quiet but it's just loud enough to hear it's like somebody's trying to seed fear into the subconscious be careful of what you say you know be careful of what you do and then there's there's these thoughts of somebody coming to get you and stuff like this so there's this underlying um subliminal um it what seems like attempt to plant seeds of fear into the um, collective field of awareness. And while that's happening, there is an energetic interference. So you may find yourself arguing in your mind you may find yourself being an antagonist in your mind toward different um, people, circumstances, places, or things that already irritate you. You may find yourself traveling down a path and just cutting loose and being free with that. Because somebody's in a tower over your freedom and good, your, the goodness that's going on in your life. They're really pissed off about it. And, and another thing that pisses them off so bad is that you're like, F you, <laughs> you know, buff on goo. And you're just going to go out there and live your life and be happy, right? And so um, you may be feeling um, brave and free and able to speak um, without fear, you know, even though there is trying to seed this still. It's the strangest thing. Excuse me. These are pretty good. Sparkling waters. They're not very expensive either. So you got a recovery, a relief, a five of pentacles reversed. And there is no pride. You're not a prideful person. You've paid your debt. Whatever debt you owed, you paid. You've paid it. And you're recovering now. You're being relieved of a burden. And you're not prideful. Somebody's challenged here because you're shining brightly. Your energy is high. Your um, your you're, you could be uh, in a positive mindset most of the time. And you are like standing here like <clears throat> not going to take any more, right? Heavenly Father or he who has all authority is here setting right all of the wrongs. And you're feeling pretty brave. <laughs> Perhaps or however you feel about it. You've got your responsibilities. Perhaps you've entered into a union where your um, financial and emotional needs are being met. There's love, there's unity, there's family. Perhaps the stars themselves have been united. This could be the 144. This could be the star nation family coming together as one in these present moments which is the positive change and you're not prideful at all and because you've come together you're causing a tower for what was
You're recovering. Huh. So there's a sudden upheaval. You're in an inseparable union. Our love is always there despite the distance. And because you're in this union, somebody's in a tower over it. Huh. It could be that because you have relief, because you are recovering, that those who were um, in, pride, in pride, that their pride has been damaged. It could be that their pride has been damaged and they're in a tower and that is why there's this extra um, mental irritation presently coupled with an energetic um, irritation. See, they're trying to put this on you. They're going through it. Or maybe if you're an empath, you're just picking up on it. You're picking up on the, on the hurt pride. You're picking up on the tower moments. They're super upset that you're making a recovery, that you're here in a responsible union, that you're shining brightly, and you're inseparable. They can't separate you. So the most they can do is to plant seeds of fear to get you to be paranoid in your environment, in your own body, in your own head. <clears throat> because they're feeling broken and shattered because you are united. So in the recent past, you've come into your Ten of Pentacles, your inheritance, and you have a new love, and the wheel has turned on this destiny. If, and this is true. If you're an empath, you're picking up on somebody else's irritation, and, and you might roll with it. I do sometimes. I, I get irritated, and then I roll with it for a while before I, and I might even enjoy it. Nostalgia of, t of times gone by. Oh, look, you never gave up hope for um, partnership, for this equal give and take, this unity. And you've got it here with the Ace of Cups. It's a new love. Queen of Pentacles is here, very grounded and generous. A protector um, mother figure, working parent. We've got um, hmm. well, it's kind of like it's kind of like it's leaning. See, it came out and it kind of leaned like that. So I guess I'm just gonna have to say it's like that, and that would mean that you don't have any reason to escape. There's nothing that you need to escape. You may be agitated, you may be um, receiving some telepathic threats or some agitation and anger because of what's happening here. But you're making plans with the Page of Pentacles here in the, in the, rec in the near future. You're making plans, you're practical, there is potential here. Men, your heart will mend, connections are being mended. So there's a lot of energy going on. You might be talkative, whether you're using your mouth or your mind. It says use your head, so it could be very busy time in your mind. We've got holding back. Somebody's holding back. They feel they should have expressed themselves better. They want to come forward and talk. They want to talk. They feel they should have expressed themselves better. There's nostalgia here. There's memories. You're, um, this emperor, so there's a reflection. Something that happened in the past, the emperor is looking at. And it's this deceit, this theft, this scamming. indecisive and somebody doesn't know what to do 
hopes and fears. There is chaos. There's a five of wands, arguments. Chaser, they can't chase after you. They want to fight. They want to argue. They can't chase after you. You're in a three of cups celebration. So <clears throat> you're doing all right. You know, there's a little <laughs> tension from these, um, the controllers of the, of the previous cycle who have been um, disappointed. They failed at their attempt. And they're in the shadows. So the way the mental stuff works, you know, um, I notice that if I um, if I do anything that opens this up, right? Like whether I use the singing bowl for a long time and I really get this this opened up, or I do anything else that that um, gets this vibrant frequency going, then you really you're the you know, the empathic thing really opens up and you really start picking up on stuff. And this is the way the mental magic works. They come in and they start seeding thoughts of fear. They start seeding thoughts of um, paranoia you know, or, you know, like you're at risk and then they'll pump in this energy to kind of excite the nervous system a little bit to agitate you. And if you have opened yourself up to that, those, those, um, things, those attempts will be increased because your receptivity is also increased. And like I mentioned earlier, you may roll with it for a while. You may like and go all you know, on, on the subject. If you have had cycles in your life where you were, um, layered in this karmic debt that, and you had to carry this mess of this, of this, like they, if they put this on you and you had to carry it, you know, which you're not having to carry it anymore. But if they ever put that karmic layering over you while they siphoned your energy and dressed up in it, if they swapped with energetically with you, then you will know that you have been in chaos and that you were comfortable there. So when you revisit these kinds of a moments, where, where your mental body and your electrical body is kind of being influenced by somebody that's having a tower, somebody whose pride has been flipped upside down, somebody who's in the shadows here and in an eight of cups, disappointed having to walk away from this foundation that they wish to control. Um, you're going to pick up on that. You're going to be very sensitive to it. And you're going to be comfortable with it. And you might even have this nostalgic moment where it's kind of fun, you know, to feed into it for a while. But then you pull back and you realize it's not you and it's not actually fun. It's just, you know, whatever. So somebody's in having their disagreements. <clears throat> they're in a, they're, they're having a disagreement about your new chapter, your commitment and your destiny. So they're trying to influence you in a negative way. And if you have allowed yourself to be open and influenced um, in a greater expression, then you're going to then you're going to feel it. Now, in a way, I don't know um, if this is such a, a such a terrible thing. See, because oh, and look, you're in you're, they're in an irreplaceable union. I sometimes wonder how that's going, you know, when, um, you, when, you, when, when I per se get all out there in the, in the mental body, 
I wonder, you know, how I'm affecting because I know sometimes I think, well, our thoughts reach to the edges of the multiverse. And if I'm really as loud as I think I am, especially if I'm if I'm blinging and shining like this, then I and if I and if I feed into this chaos that they're trying to dump into me, you know, and it comes in here, right? It's all tense and then it comes in and it's like so when they add this energy to you and then you express it out, then the edges of the multiverse see you expressing chaos, right? But what you're really doing is picking up on this and momentarily or perhaps for a little while feeding into it, but you're feeding your essence into it. And then you have to realize and then you have to let everybody know what, uh, um, what your, I guess, realization is about the experience you know and we got a lot of uh, family out there who are telepathic and psychic and they hear a lot of things and you know some people say be careful of what you say because a lot of people are listening and um You've been accustomed to solitary confinement and saying whatever you want to say within the confines of your own mind. And then when you open up and all of a sudden realize that you are speaking tel telepathically and that people can hear you, you forget sometimes, you know, that, that sometimes what you're thinking is rude or, you know, <laughs> oh... Earlier today, I got Slayer, and then I was thinking, you know, about Elon Musk and his Halloween costume, and I started going off on that in my head, if you must, you don't need to know, but that's what was going on in my head, and I was thinking about that, as well as all this agitation, but somebody's ego has been flipped upside down, or you're not prideful, or both, there's a death here. It could be a death of somebody's ego, a death of somebody's pride. Because you are recovering and experiencing a positive change where you're coming into union, a responsible union, which is shining and rejuvenating and healing, inseparable. Even when you're sassy in, in the land of telepathy. Apparently there's a little, there's some patience here, which is really good. Since patience is like one of the things that holds the fabric of the freaking multiverse together. You know, creation doesn't happen. Um, it, it happens in its own timing and you need to be patient for it. You know, so those who are impatient... Those who try to um, make it happen rather than elevate and uh, align with those who tried to force it, they're in a tower right now. They're like everything's coming apart. Their foundation, they didn't have a foundation or the foundation they had was not sufficient. And they're out of balance. So you're here, a star, in your responsible union. And these ones whose pride has been flipped, they're suffering a death. They don't have balance. So what, what um, I was picking up on was this tower. I was picking up on this. And for a while there, I was feeding into it as though it was my own expression. So just be careful of that. Be very aware of that. Um, it's, it's difficult to pick up on especially if you have lived in that energy for a while and you're comfortable there 
And it's like it's a nostalgia moment, and you're like, you find it, you're kind of enjoying it. And then it's like it, it, as soon as it clicks, it's like, oh no, what's happening here? Okay, what's happening here is I'm picking up on this, and it's not actually mine. And so it's not for me to enjoy or express, it's for me to witness, right? But, you know, sometimes it takes a while before you realize that you're the actual witness rather than the actual um, producer of said energy. So, yeah, they're in a tower because you are healing and you're having this positive change. Because you're in union, a shining, blessed union um, with someone it throws them out of balance. Their pride has been flipped. They're in a death and they're in a tower. You're here in an inseparable union and you have grown and it is growing in consciousness and awareness. And it's like this, everybody knows in telepathy land, everybody knows that you guys are together. Whatever work you're doing in this union, it's, it's known. It could be what's causing this tower. I mean, it is what's causing this tower. And if you're feeling agitation, it could just be that that's, that's why. Because whatever you're doing, elevating elevating your star, like your, your star, your love. So you're shining brightly. Your love is shining brightly. Look at that. You're free. You've grown. Oh, and you're at peace. So you're free, you have grown and expanded in consciousness and awareness, which means you're even more open to these experiences than you were before, if, especially if you're an empath. You're at peace. So when you start feeling agitation and chaos and you feed into it, and oh yeah, it might be fun to have rambling thoughts and, you know, that don't make any sense or they're antagonistic or whatever, um, you're picking up on somebody else's energy. It's not yours. Even though it might be fun to live in for a minute, it's not yours. Okay, anything that feels other than this is not yours. You're an empath, remember that? And you've just got your Ten of Pentacles here and your new love. You never gave up hope. And the wheel has turned on your destiny. Well, somebody here doesn't have discipline. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Uh, protectress perhaps whoever's here without discipline they're not going to escape this protectress you've got this potential you're making plans oh somebody's making plans somebody could be making plans to come forward to try to heal this connection or they want to come forward to bring you adversity so somebody's thinking about it that's what you're picking up on the seeds bigger you know all the seeds of fear the seeds of paranoia and all of that somebody wants to bring you adversity in the future they're envious they want to come forward to talk they feel they should have expressed themselves better they're being held back is what's happening so they want to come forward but you're not worried about it or there's no reason to worry about it because they're being held back. We've got the Six of Cups here. So there's a looking back, a nostalgia. This father or father figure or this authority figure.
is here dealing with deceit and cheating and scamming and somebody doesn't know what to do about it. They're all mad. See, they didn't get what they wanted. They didn't get you. You're with somebody else. Look at that. Indecisive came out twice. The lying and cheating and scamming, they don't know what to do. The emperor is here looking at the history of this. Of this chaos. They can't chase after you. There's success here. You know that there's no greater goal than to love. And there's a three of cups. So your celebration. You're in a celebration mode. All these ones are mad. They want to drag you back down into this. It's like a tension. It's like there's like these. Um, uh, it's like somebody's grabbing by the by grabbing you by the back of the neck, and they're just uh, they're trying to pull, you know. And it's it's wild. It's this weird feeling. It's like uh, they're trying to pull back. They don't want to let you go. They want to come forward and bring you adversity. They're probably going to say they want to mend the connection, but the fact is, is that they just want to bring adversity. So be aware of that. Anybody who wants to come forward with it, with wanting to fix this connection, it's simply so they can bring you adversity because you're in celebration mode. You're in union. And, that, and they're in a tower, suffering death. You have freedom and peace. So this greedy, hoarding, control freak ha is in an eight of cups. They failed at their attempt. They're stuck in the shadow. They have to surrender their need to control. They are really not liking this. They want you in chaos. So whatever you do, if you if there's an herb or something you take, which... which you know, some of this like blue lotus and what is it? Um, oh, what is that other one? Mugwort or whatever. Like some of the th things that open you up and make you more accessible to telepathy land and all that good stuff. Just be aware that um, at this time, you may be picking up on this even more. And so it might be to your advantage uh, to skip that for a little while. Because you do have these ones that are experiencing ego death, um, and they're in the they're in the darker aspects of the mental body and all the other bodies. Then um, you know, you're an abundant, limitless being. You can manifest whatever you want with gratitude. And somebody has to accept responsibility for their own well-being. They can't make you carry the load. You know? They can't siphon you of your happiness. They can't siphon your foundation out of you. They're envious. And they're lonely. They're facing loneliness. while you move on. If the energy does start building in you and you're feeling yourself get agitated, 
look up some different mudras and um, do them because you will you will close the circuit and you'll you'll get proper flow and you'll be able to um, calm that energy down within your system fairly quickly. You'll see a lot of the folks um, who go do public speaking and such, like they'll they'll do this they'll do they'll do this mudra or something like that, and it's just to um, close the circuit so you don't pick up any interfering energies and so you can maintain your own flow better, managing your internal power structure. So that's what that is. So when you feel these agitating energies come through, sometimes your body will like, like get really vibrant and you will need to do that to calm it, to ground it. So you're recovering. You're experiencing a positive change. It's a five of pentacles reversed. You're not prideful. Somebody's going through an ego death. Their strategy failed. Their strategy failed. You're recovering. They're out of balance now. Because you're in a responsible union you are healing. And they are bound to their commitments. They're pulling at your energy. They're trying to offload this onto you, which is why I say um, don't don't purposefully make yourself vulnerable unless, of course, you really want to just. It really all depends, you know. I mean, how much abuse you've taken and how safe you feel now I guess as to what you will do they're in a tower they're in danger because you are in an inseparable union you have grown in consciousness and awareness you've expanded and you are free and at peace. Oh yeah, they want you back bad. They want to put this tower on you so bad. The energy is like really intense. They're they're not they're not doing well. They're not doing well. And they're they're thinking about you. You've got your Ten of Pentacles here, your inheritance, your fortune, your Ace of Cups, your new love, your fulfillment, your Wheel of Fortune, this change, this turning point in your destiny. You never gave up on us. Those who came against you lacked discipline. And it's too, it's time. It's a scheduled time. Those who came against you, they lacked discipline. They can't escape. They're in a tower and they can't escape. And this queen of pentacles is here like dealing with it. I don't know what she's doing. She's dealing with it. And you got this uh, page of pentacles here. You got, you got this potential. You got all this potential 
and you have somebody wanting to come in um, to fix the connection so they can bring you adversity. See, you love yourself. You're, you love yourself. That's what pulled you through this. That's what's making you shine. That's what's filling up your cup. They couldn't stop you. They can't stop you. They're not disciplined. And they can't escape. And they're in a tower. So it's, it's this real, it's this real tension. It's just like this too. That's how it feels in the neck area and in the shoulders. It's this tension, like they're, they're like, ah, get back here. And you're like, aware and then maybe Maybe you're like antagonizing them, right? Maybe you're aware that they're reaching out for you. And so you, I don't know, what? Get off me pissant? I don't know. What are you going to say to them when you're picking up on them? You're going to be rude, maybe. It all depends on how much they made you suffer. Or what your personality is like. Daydream. So these ones are daydreaming about bringing you adversity. You're picking up on it. They're going through an ego death. They, they're thinking about coming forward to mend the connection. They're daydreaming about bringing you adversity. They want to talk. They're being held back. You don't have anything to worry about. They're confused because you reached your goals. They're confused about how you reached your goals. You reached the top of that. You've reached your goal. You're you're at the you're at the top of the mountain there. You're in your you're in your union. You've got your ten of pentacles, your ace of cups, the wheel has turned, you're at the top of the mountain. They don't know what to do now. You're not worried. You don't have anything to worry about because they're being held back. They're confused because you are the king or queen of the mountain or both. Both of you. Emperor is here looking back on that history of this deceit. And there is indecision here twice. It could be that those who brought deceit don't know what to do. Those who brought this conflict don't know what to do. They're in a tower. Everything's falling apart the emperor is here with mercy with aid checking out all this malarkey this this fighting this chaos they can't chase after you you're successful you know that there's no greater goal than to love perhaps this emperor is successful he knows that there's no greater goal than to love and he's making certain that these who want to bring chaos and argument to you are they can't chase you no collaboration. They can't come against you anymore. This, this, um, these, this entity, this collective entity that has been coming against you in this energy, they can't come against you. They can't collaborate against you. They can't chase you. This emperor is keeping them away from you. And you're celebrating eternal love. That's one reason why I love tarot. Because you can pick up on this energy and, and if you and your mind can really go with it, you know. 
And so I like to get up and do a little read when something like this hits. And I like to be like, oh, so here we are. So what's going on is this greedy um, controller is in an eight of cups. They're, they're, they failed at their attempt. They're stuck in the shadows. They have to surrender their need to control you. They fell into a trap. That's fate. And um, justice is being served on these third party mask wearers. So yeah, they're pissed. They're real mad. And you know, like, like um, historically, the way that these people get out of these messes is to find a star and sacrifice them. And they're daydreaming about it. They want to mend the connection with you. And the way to do that is to do that. You're not willingly going. You're already connected to somebody else. You're in a, a union with them. And these ones are... It's so strange to me that they would actually even consider coming after you like this. They fell into a trap. And that's the fate. You know, and that is like in the past, it was like, um, well, I've heard them say that there is a group of folks here who've been living forever. Or for thousands of years or whatever. But they can't leave. They can't advance. They can't. I don't, I don't know how this works. But apparently they can't leave. And they can't die. Because what? Because they're demigods or something. It's like those angels that made it and then they, they can't die. So they live forever but they can't leave. Like they can't go back to heaven. And so they've been destroying life, thinking that they could replace the earth angels, the stars, and then, and then get up there that way. So that is why all these mask wearing and everything has been going on, because they thought they were going to be able to steal the fate of the stars, of the earth angels, by binding them to these commitments. But you're worth saving, sweetheart. And there's evidence of them bullying you and robbing you and trying to separate you. From your luck from your fortune, from your reward. And they want to apologize or going through withdrawals. But I didn't feel apology earlier. I didn't feel apology at all. And I was called, I was called <laughs> some unsavory things. But you know what, that's all right because I was putting it out there too, right? None too happy with this business. I don't I don't like this. Who likes this? Who likes somebody coming along trying to take this from them? Nobody likes somebody coming along trying to take this. When you've earned it, when you've suffered and you've earned it, you've earned this. You've earned this. And you got these these wannabes, these mask wearers here trying to bind you to one of their commitments and steal it from you. It's ridiculous.
So yeah, sometimes I get a little snotty in my head about it, you know? I can't help it. You're here with your internal love and you're in celebration. I will look forward, I am looking forward very much to a return to um, <clears throat> a platform where these, these constant agitations don't exist. Where we can focus full on this without interference or interruption by some needy, greedy, whoever who wants to come up and take part in your happiness or take it from you or destroy it because they don't have it. They're in despair. It's tough. I mean, it's really, it's, they're not happy. They're not happy. You're recovering. They're going through an ego death. Their strategy failed. They're in despair. They're bound to these commitments. We got balance in the reverse. They're out of balance. They're bound to these commitments. And you are in a responsible union. You are a star. You're healing. You're rejuvenating. In the house. In the house. This house could be your body. So you're in a responsible union. Your emotional and financial needs are being are will be met. You are healing and rejuvenating in the star in the house. So your house is healing. This could be your physical temple. You may find that you're coming back into vibrancy. You may be reaching your optimal weight. You may be um, eating lighter, drinking more fluids doing things that uplift your um, vibratory levels and bring out that star in you, which, which assists in the rejuvenation. These ones are in a tower and they're in danger. This servant. This servant is in danger. Broken pride. Yeah, broken pride. We've got ego in the reverse. And with the death card and then broken pride down here with the tower. You're an inseparable union. You have grown and expanded in your consciousness and awareness. You've gained your freedom. You are at peace. You're in a ten of pentacles. You've come into your inheritance. You've got an ace of cups here. And the wheel of fortune has turned. You never gave up hope on your union. It is a scheduled time. Somebody does not have discipline and they're getting bad news messenger in the reverse they can't stop you they can't escape queen of pentacles protectress or a supportive uh parent is here making sure that this foe doesn't escape So somebody you got you got you got a new job perhaps you're making plans for the future. This person wants to come forward and mend this connection. They're daydreaming about bringing you adversity. See, you're in reunion here, and you're making plans. There's a lot of potential. This reunion, it could be um, between two people. It could be a reunion between
two people. And somebody is daydreaming about bringing adversity to this under the guise of mending a connection. They're all up in their thoughts about it. They're hesitating. They don't know what to do. They're confused because you are at the peak of that mountain. You've reached your goals. You've reached your goals. You're in union. You're rejuvenating in your house. You're healing. And the wheel has turned. And the emperor is here giving aid regarding this theft. And they don't know what to do about it. Times two. They're in a tower. They're in despair. It's, it's a lot of tense energy going out right now. <clears throat> Malady. They're sick about it. They can no longer collaborate um, to bring aggression toward you. They can't chase after you. You have been successful. You know that there's no greater goal than to love. Service. You're here in service. You're here providing a service. You are successful in that. Three of <clears throat> three of cups, eternal love. Three of cups, eternal love. And this thief fell into a trap. Justice is being served. They were greedy and hoarding. And they're in this Eight of Cups energy. They're disappointed. They failed. They're in the shadows. These mask-wearing third parties have entered fate. They need to surrender their need to control. It could be that everybody, all the tarot readers or any div diviners out there can see this. You are faithful. You are faithful. And it could be that you're coming into a surprise fortune. There's a priest here who's sighing. Oh man, they're in they're sighing, they're in melancholy. So What could be happening here is you're settled for the most part, unless you purposefully open yourself up to this chaos. And I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I do that sometimes, and I swear sometimes I think it's just to see where it's at. You know, it's like an investigative process. It's like you, you open up just to see where the boogeyman is, you know? At least I do. I'm like, okay, where are you, boogeyman? And then I go give him shit for a while. But, you know, it's not really necessary to do that anymore because those 22 years are gone and things have changed and... 
we're shifting into a new cycle and it's time to release it's time to release this because you're not the one bound to it you're here and you're healing and you're rejuvenating while these ones who tried to put you here are there 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 it's it's not good for them right now And so what's happening is they think that because uh, they think you got a vulnerability, they, they're daydreaming. They think that there's still an opportunity to bring you adversity. They believe you have a vulnerability. They either believe that you have, you have to take some kind of uh, medication or that you have to, um, yeah, there's a, there's a, um, excuse me, a medication or a herbal concoction or something that you utilize to kind of st stabilize yourself. And they think that this is their opportunity to continue bringing you adversity. That if they can somehow affect that, whatever it is that they believe that is bringing you stability, if they can somehow affect that, that they will have an opportunity to offload this adversity onto you. They're daydreaming about it. They may try to come at you in the astral and want to mend this connection so that they can try to put some of this adversity off onto you. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, my astral self doesn't seem to have the same attitude I have. I wish she did. But this is where we're at. The thief is getting justice. They fell into their trap. They're really pissed off. They um, want to agitate you. And they are daydreaming about offloading this adversity onto you. Because for some reason they feel that you have a weakness that they can exploit and um, use to their advantage. My recommendation is don't do anything unnecessary at this time um, to cause of an unnecessary vulnerability. Unless you're feeling frisky, you know, of course. <laughs> Exercise your free will. That's one of the things that these ones hate is that you can. You can speak what you want. You can think what you want. You can love how you want. No matter what kind of adversity is coming at you, you can go spend time with the Mother Earth if you want and just chill. And you're at peace. And it's good for you. And they can't stop. <clears throat> Your eternal love. And they, the foes, won't escape. No matter how much they dream about it. I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Bye.